Namaste. In today's somatics therapy session, we will focus on the areas where stress, anger, irritation gets stuck in our bodies, the jaw, the shoulders, the belly, causing us to contract up. So let's start by a simple shoulder movement. You can do any time throughout the day. Simply pull the shoulders up towards the ears. And then as I count to 20, let's release them down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, still going down, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Maybe the neck got a little longer. The turtle can get the head all the way out of the shell. It's not so scary out there. Let's come on to our back and begin our practice. I've covered my mat with a blanket for a little bit of extra padding. You can also lay on your carpet. And as you come down, we'll start by just stretching the legs out. And then first notice is your chin jutting upward. In which case, I recommend that you slide a blanket or towel pillow under your head so that the chin is more towards the chest. Notice as you lay flat how your body feels. What are the sensations? Are the areas that are a little chatty? Does your body list to one side? Are you making a deeper indentation? on one side of the body. Our dominant side tends to be tighter as we hold a resting muscle tension here that is higher because the brain, smart as it is, says you're just gonna be repeating your action. So I'm gonna make it easier for you to fire up, which is great, but it's also not great. From here, <clears throat> excuse me, We'll bend up the knees and then bring our awareness now to the breath. Placing your hands on your lower abdomen, so below the belly button. As you breathe in and out, does the belly move? Or does the chest move? but the belly stays still, or the chest rises on the in-breath and the belly pulls down, which is sometimes called reverse breathing, meaning the diaphragm, the main muscle of breathing, and by some accounts, one of the most important muscles in our body, not to forget the heart, of course, very important muscle, but the Diaph diaphragm supports a deep and full breath. So I invite you to let the belly expand as you inhale. A sign of the diaphragm expanding, contracting on the in-breath, and relaxing down towards the spine on the out. Let your entire focus be on the breath. Belly expands on the in-breath. Relaxes down on the out.
right? The exhalation to lengthen out compared to the in-breath. So if the in-breath is a three, four count, let the out-breath be a four or a five count. That can take a little bit of time to establish, so don't despair. Just be aware and have the intention of creating this change. Don't strain, push, or force. As we expand the out breath, we invite the body into the parasympathetic nervous system, the nervous system of relaxation, of digestion, of healing, of ease. And let's begin to incorporate movement. As you inhale, contract the low back and roll forward towards the tailbone. So the low back lifts a little high and then exhale slowly release back to neutral. Let's take a breath in and out. And then we repeat. Arch and slowly release back to neutral. Off the breath. Let there be gentle effort, but no strain, no force. Let's do that again. Inhale, contract the muscles on the low back to create the arch. And exhale, slowly release back to neutral. Another buffer breath. Inhaling for nothing. Apologize for guys, he's talking to somebody out there. And exhale, let's flatten the low back, pull the belly, in and up. And slowly release. Back to neutral. Take a breath here again. Buffer breath. Breath in for nothing. Exhale. Flat and pull the abdomen in and up. And if available, draw the pelvic floor up as well. Mula Bandha, our root lock, our root energy. And exhale, slowly release. Let's bring the arms out to cactus arms or keep them on the belly that feels better. This is all about feeling better. Now let's combine the arts and flatten. As you inhale, belly expands. Low back contracts. And exhale slowly, floating back to neutral. This may take more than the out breath. That's perfectly fine. Move as slowly as you can. Take a breath in for nothing. And exhale, flattening the low back. Abdomen pulls into the spine and upward. And slowly release this as you inhale. Now take a buffer breath out. And inhale, we arch again. Contract the muscles. And exhale, slowly release back to neutral. Breath in for nothing. And exhale, flattening the low back. Slowly release on the in-breath, back to neutral. 
Now let's take a puff of breath here. We'll repeat the round one more time. Inhaling arch. And exhale, slowly release. Breath in for nothing. And exhale, flattening. Pull the belly in and out and the pelvic floor, if it's available. Slow the release. Now let's slide the legs out. And just notice, how are you feeling? Just by doing this, your breath may feel a little fuller. Your body may lay a little flatter as some of the emotional tension has released. Sometimes at this point, you can also move your head blanket or pillow out of the way. So maybe a little test and see if the neck feels a little bit more at ease now. If it does, lower the eye. If not, just put it back under there. It's perfectly fine. We're gonna take the arms out to a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. So take them wider like a big X. And we'll reach out through the right arm, just stretch up through the right arm, spread the fingers, and then let that go. Reaching out through the left arm, stretch the fingers, and let that go. Do that one more time. Stretching out through the right arm. And release. Left arm. Release. This time as you reach out through the right arm, let your right ribs slide up with the arm stretch up through the fingers. And exhale, release. Left side, take the ribs with you. Reach. And relax. One more time. The ribs travels with the arm. Let your head just roll as it wants to. Don't try to lock it down. I always invite you to close your eyes and if you're wearing glasses, take them off so that your muscles around the face can relax and your eyes can relax. Let's give the shoulders a little pause, but reach up through your right heel. Just the heel. And then relax. Inhale the left heel. And relax. Now, if this is uncomfortable for you in any way, keep backing off the movement until there's no pain or discomfort. And that may mean that you're going to imagine the movement without actually doing it. Initiate, but don't execute. That still activates the sensory neurons and the sensory neurons and motor neurons communication. Let's inhale now and press up through the right heel, but take the hip down with you so the whole side slides down. And then relax. Inhaling the left heel and the hip slides down. And we let go. Right side again, sliding down. Let it go. Left side, moving at a pace that is comfortable for you. Engage, create the action. Well, imagine the action. And then as slowly as you can, release. 
and the chelation. It releases that resting tension on the muscles. Now let's combine arms and legs. So on the next in-breath, right heel and hip moves in one direction, right arm and ribs opposite, and then slowly let go. Left side. Extend, creating space, letting it go. Move at a pace that's comfortable for you. Reach and relax. Reach and relax. As you reach, contract the waist on the opposite side. So as you reach up through the right side, pull the left hip and ribs towards one another. Do you get a little bit more extension? And then let it go. Other side. Pull the opposite hip and ribs towards one another. And then release. Not too much, not too little, just enough. We'll finish up on the left side. We've done the same amount on each side. We'll relax the arms down. Breathing in and out. How are you feeling? How does your body rest? Bending up the knees. We'll add in a diagonal curl. Let's hug the left knee in. Take the right hand behind the head. On the in-breath, arch your low back. On the exhalation, flatten and curl up diagonally. Right elbow, left knee. Slowly release back. And let's take a buffer breath. Again, arch the low back. Exhale, flattening, and then rotate from the ribcage to draw the right elbow towards the left knee. And slowly releasing back. Breath for breath. These interludes are important to allow that resting tension on the muscle to not accumulate. One more time. Inhale, arch. And exhale, flattening. And rotate nose and sternum, traveling together. So don't overturn the head. And we release. Releasing. And switch to the other side. Inhaling and arching. Exhale, flatten and rotate. Slowly derotate. And relax. Let's repeat, inhale, arch, and exhale. Diagonal curl. Slowly releasing back. Again, buffer breath.
one more time. Arch. Flattening. And up you come. Diagonal. Squeeze. And release. We'll release down. And again, a little interlude. Let's visit with the back body. So with as little effort as possible, rolling over onto your back. Sorry, onto your belly so that the back is up. Now here, with the hands, one on top of the other, forehead just resting on the back of the hands, or however it is comfortable for your head. And if it is not comfortable for you to lay on your stomach, you can do all of these movements isometrically, where you will engage and press down into the floor instead of coming up. So you will not be working against gravity, but you will still get the same muscular contraction. We will start simply by taking our legs up to bending the knees up, bend the knees up. And from here, I will count to 20 as we lower the legs back down. Let's lower the legs back down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, not quite there, 17, 18, 19, 20. Let it all pull. Was there a lot of shaking and jumping and jittery? That means that you just changed the resting tension on your muscle. Let's repeat, but we're going to add a little bit of juice, bending the knees up again. This time, squeeze the knees in towards the chest. Squeeze the knees. You feel the quad, the, sorry, the hamstrings really contracting now. I will count again. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Keep pressing the hips down. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, letting it all release. All relaxes. Take a breath in and out. Now the hamstrings one part of the equation, but the glutes, oh, there's some tension. I'm not going to say anybody has to type anything, but let's see if we can get a little bit of ease there. This time, we're going to do one leg at a time, pressing the hips down. And as you inhale, let's lift the right leg up. That can come super high, maybe 10, 12 inches up. Can you feel your right bun firing? Let's take it down and slowly and slowly and slowly as you can. And relax. Let's do that on the left side. 
Lift the left leg up. Doesn't have to be super high. Is your left glute on? If you're not sure, take a hand back. Yep. And now let's release it down. And you can cap it down if that is helpful for you. Or just move as slowly, as slowly, as slowly as you can. Keeping your back completely neutral. So if this is chatty in your low back, you may be trying to overuse your back muscles and not really getting the glutes involved. So we're on the right side again. Pressing the hips down. Tailbone towards the heels as you lift the leg. Lift the right leg. Keep the tailbone drawn towards the heels. And let's count. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And everything relaxes. We're going to do that on the right, sorry, the other right, the left. Draw the hips down, tailbone towards the heels. Let's lift the foot, lift the foot. And we'll count again. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two and one. And now let's do the full back lift. Take the hands down alongside the hips. Palms facing the hips, legs are together. And inhale, lift whatever you can grab, whatever you can grab. Pull the shoulder blades together, pull the shoulder blades together. And slowly, slowly release down. Don't dump, don't dump. Coming down, releasing down. So that gets the whole back seam engaged. Everything pulls, but I think we should do that just one more time. Inhaling, lift. Lift the arms, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Don't overlift the head. Don't overlift the head as you slowly, 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 slowly. But everything land softly, softly. And let's come on to our back again. Let's start with our legs straight. Let's checking in. How does your back feel? Resting on the floor. And then we'll bend up the knee. Pelvis. A lot of tension here as well. We sit down a lot and everything got tracked down. So let's get a little bit of ease across here. Drawing your right hip up towards the right rib cage. And let it release down. Let's do the other side. Let's go from side to side. Contract, pull the hip up. And then stay super focused as you relax the hip down. To take the tension off the muscle, 
to return the hip to where you found it. Staying focused and moving as slow as you can on the release. One more time. Letting go. So that was a horizontal move. We'll explore the vertical move, pressing it, the right hip into the floor and letting go. Other side. So the knees will move a little bit as you press the hip down, but not a lot of it. What muscles facilitate this move? And do they work evenly on both sides or is there an agreeable side? And then there is that other side. You may have had an injury. Or this may just not be your dominant side and that side is a little not sure as you want it to do. So use the easy side to tutor the side that needs a little more awareness. As you come back to center, let's put these two movements together. It's kind of like the pedals on a bike. So each hip is now a pedal. Draw the right hip up towards the shoulder and then lifting it up towards the sky, pedal it forward towards the feet and it comes down. Moving round in a circle. This is the action of walking. So I invited you to lead with the right hip, but your left should be doing exactly the opposite of the right. So let's have the left take the lead of pedaling about. Well, that's going swell. Now pedal backwards, backwards. Make the movement smooth and easy. Smooth and easy. Which one is leading, left or right? Maybe this is not nearly as easy as it was pedaling forward. So we begin by just gaining awareness. All right. Everything pulls. Let's stretch out the legs. And relax again. Sliding the arms out to the side and bending the knees up. A simple windmill wiper twist. So letting the knees draw to one side as you inhale, gaze to the other. And exhale, drawing back up through the middle. And we go to the other side.
easy and smooth. As you draw down, let the shoulder on the arm you're looking at pull towards the spine and then relax. Don't make it too hard. Make it enjoyable. Facilitating easy movement throughout. Easy peasy. Now for the last part, we're going to address the tension that we often keep in our faces. And a lot of muscles in our faces and everything gets pulled together and really tight. So for this, place your legs in a way that's just comfortable for you. And it may be that you'd like to have a bolster under your legs. You can also just let the knees rest in towards one another. And I, I repeat again, uh, remove your eyeglasses if you are, haven't already, so that the muscles around the eyes can also relax. We begin by drawing the eyebrows up towards the hairline. So for some, that may be really high. And slowly. Uncrinkle the forehead. Doing that again. Pull the eyebrows up high, high, high. And slowly release. Now frown, frown and squint the eyes, squint the eyes. And let's relax all of that. Frown again and squint the eyes tightly shut. Tight. And let's invite these muscles to relax. It's like giving yourself a little. Um, Facial massage. Next, with the eyes closed, look as to your right, but don't turn the head. Use the muscles of the eyes and relax towards center. Stretch your eyes to the left. And relax back to center. Again. Relax. And relax. Let's look up. And relax the eyes. Looking down. And roll up. Again. Looking up. Gentle effort. Don't strain. Relax. And down. And let's explore the diagonal move. Looking up to your right diagonal. Release down. Look down to the left. Really, can you feel how this pulls on other muscles? What is contracting all the way around the eyes? Let's do it again.
Relaxing down to the left. Left to the opposite. Looking up to your left. Down. Down to the right. Relax. Again. Relax. And down. When we wear glasses, we don't use our eye muscles. We kind of focus them in. And if we spend a lot of time in front of a screen, and I know a lot of people do that right now, myself included, our eyes get really stuck. But let's not forget the lower part of the face. Making the biggest mouth you can. And close. We're going to do that again, but this time you're going to stick the tongue out as far as you can. And close. That one more time, we'll add lion's breath to the big roar. And relax. You can wipe the chin if you like. Now let's make a kissy face. And relax. Again. Relax. And then take your hands or rub them together. Create a little bit of heat, firing up a little bit of energy. And then take your hands and first smooth across the forehead, across the eyes, the cheek. Upward from the chin to the eyes. And do whatever feels good. And then relax. Slide the legs out. You just gave yourself a full body massage. And allowing your body to bank it before you pop up and go about your day. The longer you can rest after you do this work, the longer it will last. So you may like to stay here for a little bit longer. I will let you decide that. Thank you for joining me. Namaste.